Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, this is actually the second part of my Sailor Moon Best Girl videos. Make sure you watch part one about Sailor Jupiter. It'll be in the card, wherever that is, and uh, please enjoy. Hey, and welcome back to Sailor Mars is Best Girl and Sailor Jupiter is Worst Girl. Sailor Mars is great. She's not a straight thought or anything. Not even a gay or bisexual thought. I know there's a bit of edited footage of me calling her thought, but honestly, that's just CNN. Because she's a straight thought. Jupiter's a thicky sweetums. Yeah, but it's had this dumbass anti-cyclonic storm on it for like 360 years. Come on, guys. Have a character arc or something. But Mars. <laughs> okay, uh, real talk. I'd let Jupiter's storm blow me away. <laughs> I jest. It's all a joke. Sailor Mars is still a thought. But you know who isn't a thought? Sailor Mercury. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> Amazing segue. I know. Okay, so this video is probably going to be a bit more serious than usual. It's more on the character development side and personal experiences side rather than a dumb video where I call everybody thick and talk about them beating me up, even though I kind of already did both of those. <laughs> so today I ask, what makes a good role model? Let's answer that by using the other best girl of Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mercury as a character is very relatably unrelatable. Let me explain. She appreciates art, including pop culture, and she loves romance novels, aka a whole lot of yaoi. Her parents are divorced with her just living with her mom, whom she often looks to for approval. She looks to a lot of people for approval, actually. But slowly throughout the course of her journey, she learns to look to herself for approval. She learns how to, how to beat her insecurities and grow as a person. So many people could see parts of themselves in her, especially the yaoi. I went on a first date with a girl and she just talks about yaoi. Can you guys hear the geese honking? I I, I, went, I went through a similar thing with this one time where I had to honk at somebody back, so... That's me. That's me retaliating at the geese. The main group of people who would watch Sailor Moon probably deal with a lot of insecurities. It's aimed at that sweet spot between childhood and adulthood where nothing makes sense and you don't like or understand yourself. A lot of people look to pop culture to help understand themselves more, to help like themselves more, and learn to appreciate who they are a little more. Humans relate to things easily, that's how we grow, and when there's somebody who goes through something the same as you and they learn to grow from it, it's inspiring. One problem I have with a lot of relatable characters is that's all they are. Just caricatures of things for people to grasp onto without any actual personality or story themselves. But Sailor Mercury has her own defined personality outside of these. Uh, one example being she is super smart with like 300 IQ. She's the bright of the group. She's a real gamer girl. And I don't mean they can't do a 16 star speedrun of Super Mario 64 in less than 15 minutes. Gamer girl? No, honey, she'd have the world record. She BLJ'd straight into my heart. Her relatability is nicely accented by this uniqueness. Not everybody can relate to having 300 IQ and, well, you know, being able to control water and magic powers and, well, defending the universe from monsters and, you know, not a... Not a, not a lot of people go to college for that one. Her intelligence helps set her apart as somebody who has problems, but they don't define her. She has problems, but she's still a person. Sort, sort of. Her problems aren't her, I guess I should say. Even though she has these exorbitant qualities, you can still see a piece of yourself in her. I think that's why so many people relate to Sailor Moon so well. You can see a piece of yourself in any character, even the thought. You can gain more of an appreciation for them and yourself because they're people, just like you. I know you fight evil by moonlight. I know you are winning love by daylight. What, what, what does that even mean? Every character has their own defined personality and they're not just lightning rods for generic relatability. And as somebody who personally grew up learning Japanese and other languages and you know, being a nerd or whatever, uh, it was really nice to have a nerdy character who wasn't the joke who was a person, you know, a nerdy character you could look up to. It's almost like we spend every day getting closer to who we really are, and a character who helps bring us one step closer is a good role model to me. And for me, Sailor Mercury was one of those characters. Oh, and uh, she thick, uh, she can murder me in a, a, a alleyway in Chicago, blat blat, yes please ma'am. I have to talk about cute girls kicking my ass every episode, if I don't they're gonna pull my show, I'm gonna lose my two dollars on Patreon a week. I'll even buy the gun for her. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's it. You, you can go home now. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, so I know that the camera is a little bit different this episode. I did not get a new one. Uh, I'm using my phone. I have to refilm this video four times. Please wait. Yamero. Um, please. Uh, Sailor Mercury to me was a very important character because Sailor Jupiter, I just want her to beat me up. Sailor Mercury, it's more like, yeah, you, you can beat me up with knowledge. Kick my ass with knowledge. But yeah, if you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to check out my other videos. I make music. I've got a new album coming out soon. That's all on my channel and such. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notifications when I release something new. Feel free to comment and tell me about your favorite Sailor Scout and why they're your favorite. I'm always interested in hearing why people love them. And if you liked my stuff enough where you're like, this guy needs to have my money, I do have a Patreon. So thank you all very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.